So we're just about to go for a uh, walk here with Tonka. We're gonna be walking around the neighborhood with him, just getting him out for one of his walks today. Um, we're gonna try and do the whole thing off leash or basically off leash. We still have the long line dragging there, um, just for leash laws, obviously. And so we'll be basically off leash healing around the neighborhood. We'll practice some of his sits and his, his stays, his sits and his downs and stuff like that. Um, and we'll just kind of see how he does. He goes home soon, so he should be pretty fluent in all of this. I like to start him off in the place bed here, get him nice and calm before we go for our walk, and then I can release him and we can start right into a heel. So I can actually call him uh, and release him. Release him from the place bed without using my release cue, I can just use a, a heel or a come command, right? So what I'll do is I'll use my heel, Tonka heel. Good, and then he knows that means come right here. Good boy. Heel. Good. Nope. Left my treat bag open, he's excited for that one. I, I did correct him a bit for that. Nope. He's a little too excited right now. Nope. Good. So we'll just keep him a little bit more calm there. Nope. I actually don't normally carry my treat pouch around the walk, depending on what we're doing. So he's getting pretty excited for that, because I don't usually have that on when we're going for walks. So. But yeah, he's doing really, really well here with our off-leash stuff. Nope. It's just a matter of keeping him in this position and staying consistent with it, especially as his owner, right? Each time he steps out of that position, we're just giving a nope and a tap on our stimulation on our e-collar. We want him right behind our left leg here. He likes to kind of drift around a little bit once in a while, so we just keep an eye on that and correct him when he does with a nope. And we'll pat our left leg if we need to or remind him. There's a few things we kind of like to do with the dogs. To remind them of their position sometimes we'll kind of stop and make a little turn i'll show you what that would look like here good just like this heel good and then see he's got to correct himself to find that left leg once again right getting him to find that position using a bit of a you know body language is it's a great way to get these dogs to learn the proper heel position combining that with the e-collar it's perfect Got a scent, not sure what it was. So come up to a crosswalk here, we'll have him sit. Good boy. I'm gonna start my phone. Nice sit there at the crosswalk and then we can heal again, heal. We'll just tap our tone button as we start the, the, the healing again. We like to use our tone button for our healing as it's our recall and it's our heal because our recall is basically our heal command. Good job. Very good. Kind of crazy how this dog came came to us pulling like crazy on a choke chain. Especially the first time I saw him during our consultation. He was just yanking all over the place. It was hard to even hang on to him. Um, and now he's hands-free around the neighborhood. That's good e-collar training. So good.